Hey guys, I'm Sean. And I'm Sarah. And welcome to our new office, which we've been attempting to set up. So there might be a few teething issues, but fingers crossed we'll get but through them. Ta da! Ta da! We are here. <laughs> Big new desk. <laughs> so, first off, we're going to start off by talking about some kind of new stock that we've got, but also some of the advantages of that. And the first one is these, which are coffee, coffee, coffee fibers. Fiber inserts, yeah. Which are pretty incredible. When Sarah told me about them, it was more about the odour eating properties that these had. And we used them with our toddler overnight and woke up in the morning, picked them up, and instead of getting that sort of that bit of a urine smell, there was just absolutely nothing. So, so far, I'm really impressed with these. They're nice, thick, yeah. absorbent, and great for odour eating. Yeah, and you can just pop them on top of a regular nappy. And they've also got a bit of a fleece lining, which is nice and soft against baby's skin, and it wicks the fluid away, so it has a nice stay dry feel, as well as the anti odour, antibacterial properties. So, win win. Mm, definitely, yeah. <laughs> so, great for obviously boosting anything for overnight use, for long trips, or anything like that. So, you know, another thing we've kind of discovered that actually has multiple, uh, I guess, advantages, really. Yeah, I mean, how we've been using it is alongside a hemp insert because we find that hemp and these are a really good combination because the hemp is obviously super thirsty, whereas this is more about the anti odor and the stay dry feel as well. Um, and it's, it's surprisingly absorbent compared to what I was expecting as well, but I I find if it's longer trips or if you're going for overnight, then we tend to use hemp, don't we? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah so. Definitely worthwhile checking out um, if you can find some of those. They're certainly great for that absorbency of smell. So yeah. worthwhile looking into that. <laughs> the other thing we've got is the unicorns are now in stock. Yeah. And uh, Sarah will tell you a bit more. They seem to be quite a, a popular pattern. So we've imported those, so we have them on the UK store. Yeah. Oh, oh so there you go. <laughs> yeah. We have had them on our international store for some time, but we've recently, because they've been popular and people have been asking about them, we've had them shipped into the UK. So what that means is that if you go into the stocked in the UK section on our website and you click on that, then you will see some of these along with the wraps and various other things that we've spoken about. Um, and what we like about these is it's quite a basic pocket nappy i guess you know we've spoken about pocket nappies we've spoken about there's ones like little lamb and bobber and boo and alva and, and little and blooms which are all quite sort of similar in that style in that basically what you've got is a pocket um so this has a the stay dry inner inside it has the waterproof outside which is very pretty in this case i think this is still probably even though it's a more basic one of our nappies it's probably one of my favourites for yeah, the definitely. design because I love the unicorn and the stars. I just think it's really eye-catching. Mm -hmm. um, our toddler's absolutely obsessed, isn't he? He is, yes. Yeah. He calls it his spirit nappy, so he, yeah. he definitely loves this one. Yeah, and some people might say it's girly, but I'd say that's a sign that it's gender neutral, really. Um, so, yeah, in, inside it's got the lovely stay dry feel. So, really, that's nice and soft against baby skin. Again, wicks the fluid away. Um, and so if you put any insert inside, I mean, we're, we're going to make sure we supply a couple of microfiber inserts of each one of these anyway. Uh, but if you want a longer lasting absorbency and you're going a longer period, and I'd say, you know, a bamboo and a hemp inside as well is also really good. Just to go inside mm -hmm. that pocket. Um, although microfiber gets a lot of stick, I'm still quite a big fan of things which do have microfiber alongside a first year insert because my experience uh, when we've had these little tweaks with both our children actually mm. where they've where they've weed in their nappies is sometimes if you have a really absorbent insert uh, although it's really absorbent you can still get leaks because you ha can have this flooding impact um, and what often what's going on there is the child weaves faster than the nappy can absorb and what microfiber does is it allows um, it allows fluid to be soaked up like a sponge and it gives the more absorbent inserts like bamboo and hemp more time to absorb um, the urine. So in doing so, it prevents flooding. So you'll find that the if you have the microfiber nearest to the fleece and not directly against baby's skin because otherwise that can be quite drying on the skin because it is so thirsty, then have like a bamboo or a hemp behind it. That's pretty much what we go to with pretty much yeah, all definitely. of ours. Yeah, whether it's it a, certainly seems to work and yeah, does the tricks. So it's but, a good combination. Yeah, whether it's a charcoal bamboo or whether you just have a bamboo or a hemp, that sort of combination really works well for us, yeah. doesn't it? So we're a big fan of that. And what it is as well, which I'm probably missing the key point here, is it's a birth to potty nappy. So I think, I think it says uh, 3 to 15 kilograms. It's got the vertical rows here, which means that you can adjust to three different rise settings mm -hmm. there. So basically there's the smallest, which um, you can just 
basically just pop it up. And that's like on the, the smallest setting there. And what I can show you as well is the crossover poppers, which make it go really tiny. So compared to ones without crossover poppers, because say one of the things that I say quite a lot, which um, some people might disagree with, and it's no disrespect to Bob and Brew, because I absolutely adore their nappies. We have loads of them, don't we? We do. But the she part says that, loads, like a mountain <laughs> of them. Uh, the part that I don't like about them is, is that they don't have the crossover poppers, so the waist doesn't go as small as like it can with one like this. It does have the crossover poppers. It goes really, really tiny. Mm -hmm. um, so you connect it like that, um, and obviously if it's boosted, it goes even smaller, and it's just, you can see it goes really small like that. And so actually, some of these have fitted on our little season. To have, yeah, like, it's worth our bearing in yeah. mind, when you're spending that money, you can literally get your kit and use that same kit from birth yeah. through to potty, as yeah. you know, as advertised. And every baby is different. I mm -hmm. mean, it's worked for us, hasn't it? Doing it that sort of way has worked on our yeah. littlest. Um, some people might find that they get less of a fit and it's all, I always say different things work for different babies, but for us, having this style worked from a surprisingly young age. Yeah, it certainly did. It yeah. definitely worked for us. Uh, so we really like it anyway. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, if you do want one of these, what we have got on offer at the moment is obviously it's nine ninety nine, isn't it, on our I website? Believe so, yes. And that's with two free inserts included. And obviously, you use the launch fifteen code. So for eight pounds forty nine, I think mm -hmm. it is, with that code, you will have this free delivery delivered to your door with two inserts, which I think isn't a bad deal when you factor yeah, exactly. delivery. Exactly, can't get wrong with that. Yeah. And then the other thing we're branching off into is so these have just arrived in the UK as well, so we've managed to get quite a few of these and source them from a supplier. Yeah. Um, we're going to be branching out into sort of like gift hampers, so for newborn gifts, um, I guess birthdays and mm. eventually sort of seasonal gifts as well, so Christmas, yeah. um, Halloween, everything, as that sort of thing's coming around, because obviously it can be quite hard sometimes, especially when you're looking to, at what you'd buy for new parents, and what we're going to aim to do is have something they're obviously cute, cuddly, we're going to have a disposable and a reusable hamper so people have different options for it. But we're going to try and throw in things in there as well that people, like new parents would actually need because that's one of the greatest things that we got when we first had our, uh, our first child was somebody had really gone through all the things that you don't necessarily think of when you're a first time yeah. parent. So something that really ticks all the boxes that a lot of new parents won't necessarily think of which would be great to actually give as gifts yeah. and come in really handy. And there is a bit of a story around these, and I have seen them, and I thought they've been really, really cute. But I was a bit mortified, really, in that um, without trying to shame anyone, when I went to look for these, I I look, I did a search, and they were coming up as thirty odd pounds, even second hand, um, which again was a bit of a shock mm -hmm. to me, bit of a really. Stretch. Yeah, because I was just like, as much as it's cute, I don't want to pay thirty pounds for a second hand bear like this. So again, with um, our website, these are local stock now. Mm -hmm. um, and I think they're priced at 18. We 18 and yeah. stand there on there for. Yeah, and so with the code again, that's sort of that's 16 odd pounds that it would be delivered to your door with no delivery fee or anything. That's all included in the price. Um, so yeah, launch 15. And yeah, they're, they're just really cute. They're just quite traditional. They've got their little bedtime hats and bedtime feet. She's a fan. She's and a fan. So, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I was really excited to find them. Yeah, but I don't know if anyone else shares my enthusiasm. Yeah, we'll soon find <laughs> out. Um, but obviously, if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see, things like the gift hampers, anything that you've always been looking for and never been able to find, you know, let us know in the comments below, or again on the Facebook group, on Instagram, or anything like that. And um, we'll do our best to kind of throw that into the, the gift hampers as we start building those, because stock's starting to arrive for it, we're putting those together. But obviously, any ideas that you have are absolutely welcome. And then I guess the final update from us is with regards to Soft, which is yeah. the charity that we really like. You know, it's help want to raise awareness for it. They do some incredible work. We have a mm. call up this coming Wednesday, actually. Yeah. So it's going to be like a little video conference with other parents as well and yeah. talking to people about similar situations and just how life in lockdown is as well. So we'll be sure to let you know how that goes. But as always, be sure to head on over to Soft UK's website. They do some fantastic and inspirational work. Mm -hmm. It's certainly worthwhile checking out. Um, you know, ultimately, that in with what we've gone through beforehand, they make a difference and they yeah. really do some absolutely inspirational stuff. So that's that's been our passion, really. What that's what's driven us to do all of this mm -hmm. is to try to make that difference. Having had the experience that we we have had in the most recent pregnancy and everything that's happened with our daughter, we just feel so incredibly grateful and 
we really want to help increase awareness and, and support other families who face challenges and some may or may not be as lucky as us but either way we think that support is really crucial mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah it's it's really it's still a huge factor in, in driving what we're doing and we want to get as involved with that as what we can really. Yeah, absolutely so next week's video is going to be very much focused on life in lockdown with regards to being parents whether or not you're first time parent, second time parents anything to do with parenting in lockdown so think of your ideas what you'd like us to talk about anything you'd like us to share as well pop it down in the comments again on facebook on instagram anywhere like that we'll catch you up on how the call goes on wednesday because really excited about that and next week's going to be all about parenting and lockdown so once again thanks for watching really hope you've enjoyed the video and it's brought some kind of help or use to you hit the like subscribe follow whatever you're watching on and we will see you next week it's for now bye